Welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Today we talk about the rotation of sketches with the feature Revolve Cut and Revolved Boss that we can very easily create models like that. And for sure we will go step by step through everything and start from scratch and just see you in a second. Welcome back. Like I told, we will start from scratch. So this means open a new part and in an empty space. So the first, what you need to know is you need to start with a sketch. You can create the sketch by clicking on the revolved, but my preferred way is go from the front view, create the sketch and then go very controlled into what you want to do. So the first, what we do is we draw a circle and we use additionally a line in the middle because like that we will start to create a ball. So I can cut away the, up, uh, the bottom line and now we already have a body. So let's accept this and directly take a look what we can do with this one. So we click on the revolved boss. It wants to know which sketch we use. So click the sketch, go to the revolved boss. It doesn't know which one is the axis because we don't have a construction line. So I select the axis and like that we can create a perfectly shaped ball. We have axis to how many degrees we want to rotate so if we want to have a half ball or not we can go into a second direction we can say up to vertex if we have an other body in here or up to surface which is exactly the same working so actually these are the elements which we already know from the extrusion we can also make a sin feature with less millimeter at the end so first take out the second direction and i don't know how is the size at the moment so this he doesn't want to do we will take a look at this later and for sure the contours where we can select which one should be rotated so we go back to 360 degree to create the ball, accept it, and then you have perfectly shaped ball. So this is basically also the fundamental for going into ring rotation. So we go back into the sketch and we look normal to, to keep the orientation. And when we insert now a center line exactly in the center of the plane then i move this a little bit down we can close the sketch it still draws a ball but we can go into the feature now and we can change the axis line from the ball to the center of the room and then it will start to create a ring so also in here because of having a hard corner here we can use the affiliate with let's say three millimeter and the same we can do with the chamfer so let's pick this one add here one and like that we can start updating our shape so exactly the same we can work with the revolve cut we will just do it now like that again normal view the Problem is on the rotated body, you don't see where the body exactly is. So you can very easy work in the cutted view that you keep the orientation. So also from this side, we can add actually whatever we want. We can use circles, we can use other shapes and it's very easy to cut out whatever you want in a circular way like we will do it now 
what we again need is the axis in the middle so let's draw this one close the sketch and go into the revolved cut and like that solidworks will automatically recognize which one should be the center line with the 360 it's okay we are still in the cutted view so we can go out of it now and we have a special shaped ring so now we take a look how we can insert the tube here with keeping a very good orientation because the best is always when you work with the right relevance between the bodies so we go again in the front view we look normal to it and we go into the cutted view to have a support where we want to draw the tube so we pick now the lines draw something in here and we can again create whatever we want so we want to go with a full body and for example also here you can go with a prepared circle where we can insert a ring again at the end so we need to go down here a bit then we go up again and we close the body so also in here when you want to keep the relation you can have very often problem in the cutted view to get a relation between some elements but this is also no problem because you can go into the original body for example you can show it with the eye so you have the origin of it and you can go with the smart dimension and link both sketches together that you always keep the distance of two millimeter for example so let's take a look we don't have an axis line at the moment no we have the axis line because we make a full body so let's close this and make the revolved boss at this time from this body so we accept it and we go out of the cutted view and like that we can merge things together so now we want to insert here a ring also with the relation to this cut first i will insert here a dimension because then we have faster access afterwards so let's make it 10 and we go again into the front view we make a sketch look normal to here we don't need the cutted view because we have the full inside and when i want to create here a ring inside we cannot pick the center line of this one so we cannot merge it with the center line and because of that i again bring the sketch in the front which was the origin so i make it visible and as soon as we do this we get both center point so we can say with control these two should always be on the top of each other and we only have the diameter to control in here so what I also like is when I want to control here the distance all the time to let's say two millimeters I usually go with a center line in here because then I have a pick which is definitely for sure so let's go with two millimeter distance and the reason why we do this we want to have it fully defined so in black and what i forgot in this case is the center line so we go back into the sketch i draw a center line i close this i hide this sketch again i pick the sketch go into the revolve boss to rotate this body I accept it and now we have it in here 
so the point is when we don't have this correlation of the sketch in here then we let's keep it on one then we lose a bit the control because the possibility is that you suddenly decide hey i don't want to have it here i want to move it over there and very important is that the ring is all the time coming with the original drawing so i can also increase diameter to 20 and it will all the time keep the two millimeter distance in here for sure now all the others don't have a relation to each other but this is basically how you can work with the rotation with rotating bodies and it's also in combination with extrusion and rotation quite a lot possible already in SOLIDWORKS but for sure we will also take a look at other elements in upcoming tutorials like the linear pattern if we want to have everything repeat multiple times so just keep updated and follow my channel so thanks a lot